Hi, I'm Dr. Darren Alcock, endocrinologist with Southeast Health. Today I'm going to walk you through some of the more common questions regarding thyroid cancer. How is thyroid cancer diagnosed? Thyroid cancer is diagnosed ultimately through a biopsy or if someone has the thyroid taken out for another reason and they have that on the surgical pathology diagnosis in the end. Most people find that they have uh, thyroid cancer incidentally. They find a lump in the neck or have thyroid nodules discovered incidentally on some type of imaging study, such as a CAT scan or an ultrasound or an MRI. Once they find that they have a nodule in the thyroid, sometimes it does require a biopsy. And it's usually on that biopsy that people find that they have thyroid cancer. How? common is thyroid cancer. Thyroid cancer is a fairly common type of cancer compared to many. Uh, about 44,000 people in the United States will be diagnosed this year with thyroid cancer. The incidence of diagnosing thyroid cancer is actually going up quite rapidly, but many people speculate that it is not actually the incidence of thyroid cancer that is increasing, but we are just simply detecting it earlier. How does thyroid cancer affect the body? This is a pretty broad question. Any cancer uh, can affect the body uh, in various ways. Fortunately, thyroid cancer does not have very many what we'd refer to as systemic symptoms throughout the body. This can be good or bad because it makes earlier detection a bit more challenging, but at least people tend not to feel poorly when they have it. If thyroid cancer does progress to the point that it has local spread, it may cause what we would refer to as compressive symptoms in the throat, where someone has difficulty swallowing, or possibly even a hoarse voice. But again, fortunately, these are uncommon. How is thyroid cancer treated? Thyroid cancer is treated primarily in a surgical fashion with removal of the thyroid gland and any lymph nodes that are known to be affected. For some individuals that have more extensive thyroid cancer, they might require radioactive iodine ablation after the surgery. That's a small dose of radioactive iodine that is taken up in thyroid tissue that may be present still throughout the body. And most individuals who undergo surgery, and then especially as well if they undergo the radioactive iodine, do very, very well afterward. How is thyroid cancer prevented? That's a wonderful question, and for any type of cancer, we all want to know what we can do to prevent it. Unfortunately, we don't know very much about preventing many types of cancers. There's some ca types of cancers that clearly are preventable through various means. Thyroid cancer, we don't know as much about preventing. Some people speculate that there are various environmental exposure issues, occupational exposure issues. Some things have even been speculated as far as someone's body weight might be a risk factor. We don't really know any of those things for certain. So living a healthy lifestyle, eating a healthy diet, getting plenty of exercise is good for the body in general. So we can hope that those things help prevent thyroid cancer too. I hope these answers were helpful today to shed more light on some of these uh, frequent questions. If you have more questions or concerns, it's always best to begin by discussing with your family physician.